Eighth grade, unit one, lesson two, naming the moves. Number one, each of the six cards shows a shape. A, which pair of cards shows a shape and its image after a rotation? Remember, you're looking for a pair of cards or two cards that show the shape and its image after a rotation. Cards one and four show a shape and its image after a rotation. B. Which pair of cards shows a shape in its image after a reflection? So again, you're looking for two cards, but this time you're looking for the shape and its image after a reflection. Cards 3 and 5 show the shape and its image after a reflection. Number 2. The five frames show a shape's different positions. Describe how the shape moves to get from its position in each frame to the next. How can you describe the movement of the shape from frame 1 to frame 2? From frame 1 to frame 2, the shape moved horizontally to the right. How can you describe the movement of the image from frame 3 to frame 4? Moving from frame 3 to frame 4, the image moved horizontally to the left. And finally, how would you describe the movement of the image from frame 4 to frame 5? Moving from frame 4 to frame 5, the image moved down vertically and then it rotated 180 degrees. Number 3. The rectangle seen in frame 1 is rotated to a new position seen in frame 2. Select all the ways the rectangle could have been rotated to get from frame 1 to frame 2. I didn't select A because it didn't appear to have moved clockwise. I did select B because 40 degrees counterclockwise would work. I did not select C because it didn't move 90 degrees clockwise. I did not select D because it did not move 90 degrees counterclockwise. I did select E because it looks like it would have moved just about 140 degrees clockwise. And I did not select F because it didn't move 140 degrees counterclockwise.